It's been a fun stretch for the Colorado Rapids, unbeaten in the last six games. With players returning from injury and others finding their scoring touch, the Rapids will look to push that streak to seven and do it in front of their home crowd. Coming out in a 4-2-3-1. You can see the back line, same as always, pretty solid right there. Thomas and Sturgis defensive midgets here. You can see Betashore down the right-hand side, Morrow down the left-hand side, Wondolowski playing left-sided midfield along with Cronin in the middle. Dylan Powers and Edson Buttle, who, uh, if uh, you're reading the local newspaper this week, will have seen that uh, story on Edson Buttle, who's saying that he's coming back to full fitness, full sharpness, full 100%. And we are underway here at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. The Rapids getting this underway in their burgundy jerseys. Kicking from left to right in this first half against the Earthquakes in uh, all blue. Morrow, Marvel Wynn was uh, sitting there and has given Lenhart a chance and it's in the back of the net! Just half a chance for Lenhart and he's opened the scoring with 11 minutes gone in this first half. Maybe just a lapse of concentration from the Rappers at the back. And the Quakes are in front here at Dick Sporting Goods Park. <laughs> Uh, we talked about long ball. No one challenges that ball. Between Drew Moore and Marvell when they get caught, Clue comes in. He does a nice job. He cuts it back, and that's just a great ball. He hits it. You can see it tailing away, but a mistake between Drew Moore and Marvell when No one went to the ball. Gordon gets a free header, flicks it on to Lenhard. Lenhard puts it in the back of the net for his first goal of the year. His stall out. Yep. Let's see if he follows through. Now that could have uh, been very nasty, and Atiba Harris has gone in right on the side of uh, Gordon. He's gone for the. And we're going to be interesting okay. to see what colour this is. Which pocket? I don't know. That's a yellow. He was going. To, he was going to the back pocket for a minute, and then. Let's have a look here yeah. because he's going to have a word yeah. with his assistant on this near side. Is he? Let's have a look to see what colour this is going to be because that was a dangerous challenge. Let's see if oh, he's, red. he's, he's going, going to the back, back pocket. pocket. He's yep. going to his back yep. pocket. It is red, yep. and Atiba Harris is off. So uh, seems to have changed his mind. You know, you look at it, he goes in from the side. He's late along with Thomas. Let's take a look at this angle here. Maybe we get a better look. He hits it. You know, the problem is, is look how close he was when he left his feet. I think that's where the referee... Front two, playing more central. Comes the free kick, floated over the heads, go up and bubbles just over the bar. I don't think Morrow can quite believe it. I think he felt that there was some kind of push. Him and Wondolowski both. A great ball into that far post. And let's take a look right here. Morrow gets back. Henderson or uh, Hernandez turns. Let's see. Ah, a little bit of a shove. Not a foul. Hernandez doesn't jump. He turns his back. And when you turn your back, you're already in trouble. Here he goes up, he gets up, just can't get over the top of it and head it down, but once he turned his back. Central midfield area. Marvel win. Slide rule pass to Edson Buddle. Find some space. Now to Dylan Powers. We know he can have a shot. He's going to have a go! And he's come back for Deshaun Brown, who's over the bar, but a stinging shot from Dylan Powers. Maybe just rising a bit too much. John Bush stinging his hands. You know, but that was better. The ball movement was quicker. That means it opened up space. Look how alone Powers is. And I tell you what, he doesn't hold back. Look at this ball moving. And that's a great play by Bush, not trying to catch it. Deshaun Brown just can't get over the top of this. Just enough by Atacord to just give him enough of a shove. But why not? He unleashed a bomb from there. Not taking no for an answer. Nathan Sturgis does find Martin Rivero. They went close a few moments ago. He's going to have another go from distance. And John Bush at full stretch will gather at the second attempt. But Martin Rivero, he's tried his right foot out. He's tried his left foot out. Everything seems to be well. Well, and this is this is what we were talking about at the beginning of the game. That's why I said the first half, you're going to need someone like Martin in. He's a little clever. You see how clever he's gotten in behind twice. He tried to get inside the 18, flicking the ball over the top of two players. This is the kind of creativity he's going to need. You can see a good left-footed shot. Bush does a nice job, gets a hand on it, doesn't let it go out for a corner kick. Baca to Morrow, back to Baca. Cronin makes a good run down the centre. He's got one-on-one -on -one here, and it's a lovely finish. A lovely finish from Sam Cronin. 
who ghosted in from centre field. And having got a decent start to this second half, the Rapids find themselves two goals down against San Jose Earthquakes. Now you can see second run from the midfield gets split. Drew Moore and Marvell win. And you can see it just opened wide up as soon as Drew Moore went in. And watch Drew Moore. Drew Moore is marking Linhart. And as he comes in, look, there's a big gap in behind. Marvell tries to cover it, can't get in. Enough great run, great run by Cronin out of the midfield. Drew Moore. One of his days like this when you feel the whole world is against you. Brian Mullen on the right-hand side. There are bodies in the middle. Can they find Sturgis? Oh, yes, they can! Nathan Sturgis with a bullet header, and the Rapids with ten men are back in it. This is a great ball by Brian Mullen. Sturgis gets up. Look at this all by himself. Just snaps it past Bush. But I tell you what, you got to go back to that play and you got to give credit to Martin. Uh, I, look at this ball he plays in behind to get Mullen in. It's fantastic the ball Rivera plays. Look at all the time Mullen has. Now he gets up. He finds Sturgis. He gets up. Boom! Puts it in the back of the net. Puts it at two to one. Scoring his third goal of the year. That's one, and one well, and the Rapids now come forward once again, Castriano, not quite, not quite. Oh, dear me, Hart in the mouths there. Now what we talked about is timing, the way he gets in behind, and Sturgis plays a fantastic ball. Look at the weight of that ball over the top, Castriano's diving. Bush does a nice job, he holds his ground. But what a great look, Castellon pulls away, he gets up in between two plays, look at him diving, trying to guide that into the corner, just couldn't tuck it away. Great play. A yellow card for Belushi. Wallace seemed to stop on that one, allows it to roll through to Drew Moore. Back to Wallace once again, finds Rivero back to goal, to Buttle, Buttle will look for Mullen, over on the right-hand side. Here's uh, a decent delivery, does Brian Mullen, can he find his man? just to the back post just inches away was Edson Buddle everything you want Mullen gets this ball to the far post you're gonna see Sturgis go up you're gonna see Edson Buddle going into the far post just that little bit of hesitation I think got Edson Buddle because he thought it looked like Sturgis was getting up to get this just a little too much Mm. I mean a half step off right there. Rating this assistant on this near side on three or four occasions in the second half. And there goes the full-time whistle. The referee, Jorge Gonzalez, calls time on the contest. And Mark Watson starts life as the interim head coach of San Jose Earthquakes. As Oscar Perea and Mark Watson now. That is not what we want to see at the end of the game. A shake of the hands and move away. Paul Caffrey moving in, Mark Watson starts life with a win against the Colorado Rapids and it's now getting a little bit messy out there. Chris Wondolowski who we saw get involved earlier when Henry Thomas was squaring up to Mark Watson again is getting involved and it's unnecessary 